Hey, what's up, dudes? Kubla Khan here, and welcome to Nothing Behind Me But Green Screen. Yeah, my hair is being silly because I got a fan on. It's very warm in here. Anyway, I forgot that um, when we do these announcements, we don't actually have a green screen up. And so I was like, oh, shit, I don't want to take it down. So anyway, check out the green screen with no chroma key. It's, uh, yeah, it's looking good. It's working well. Anyway, so we have a stream tonight, 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Cannot wait. And now let's get into an announcement. The announcement is that No Man's Sky is coming out tomorrow, and I want to play it for the videos next week. It would replace Fallout 4, and we'll get back to Fallout 4. It's just I'm so excited for No Man's Sky, and I think it could make a great roleplay. And I want to experiment with it because it's going to be popular, good SEO, and also just a fascinating game idea. And so in the later subsequent weeks, we can also have maybe it'll be two Fallouts and a No Man's Sky, or maybe two No Man's Sky and a Fallout. We'll see what happens after the fact. Anyway, so because of how we like to do things, uh, I've made a couple little bing guidelines, and I call them guidelines because no one's really sure what's in No Man's Sky. I mean, at filming, literally, the game just came out, so no one's really sure what's the game like, the gameplay, even people who got it early. Apparently, there's a massive one-day pass, or excuse me, first-day patch that came out, and it's adds like paths and they're like there's storyline paths and I was like Jesus Christ what happened to this game I thought it was gonna be like a Minecraft exploration thing now it has a story like this is really interesting so with these particular guidelines I don't know if they'll work or if they'll be cool you know like that's something that's gonna affect and change what we end up doing I still want to have your opinions on them so let me explain them a little bit the privateer is gonna be someone who's like an alliance member or where basically they're allied with a bunch of races or a race and then they go after the other ones as a pirate. A privateer is basically a pirate for hire. And the thought process is that they're going to attack those ones with aggression and take that stuff and then sell it to the other people that they do like. So, err, hate, ooh, good kind of thing. Then we have what I'm calling like the, so the smuggler, which is sort of a Malcolm Reynolds slash Han Solo character, which is someone who's not necessarily against the, any race in particular. In fact, they want to be friends with all the races. They dislike the general authority, though. So, like, anything that's like that authority... I don't know what that is, but I've seen in No Man's Sky, they have this authority that exists everywhere. These th these characters don't like that. That Malcolm Reynolds, that Han Solo-like character, they're caring about smuggling shit and doing things that the authority necessarily isn't too into. And I'm not exactly sure how that's going to look or if that's even possible, but that's kind of the thought process with this character is friendly with everybody but not really into the authority kind of thing. Then the final character is what I'm calling the Bounty Hunter. And this is a character that, if bounties exist in the game, will hunt bounties. If bounties exist in the game and there are things like beat this race in 10 seconds or kill the giant elephant on planet Zanzibar blah, 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 or whatever, if those are challenges that exist, the Bounty Hunter goes after these challenges. Specific scores, big gains, take out the big ship, race the moon, kill the elephant, I don't know, like, that's what the bounty hunter would look for, and that would be how they would be inspired to do. So those are kind of my three ideas, once again, they're guidelines, as a reminder, who knows what's going to happen once No Man's Sky is actually out, so um, they might all suck, they might not be a good idea at all, so anyway, but I want to have your opinions on it nonetheless, because it will help me, be, you know, influence what I think is the right thing to do when we're playing it, if one is kind of shit, but another one's good, I can kind of mold one into the other and that kind of thing so we can maintain what you guys had requested anyway that's the big stuff we got 7 30 p.m stream tonight on pacific standard time if you have more questions related to the no man's sky and schedules and stuff just ask me there too ask me down in the comments down below as well and of course dudes thank you so much for being here it's a total joy to have you of course may the grand rise meet your feet may the wind always be at your back and may the sun shine warmly on your sexy sexy face dudes see you later bye